What's the crack, lads? Welcome back. It's Monday, and we have the national attackers Forlan Torres and Ribery. These are the national team stars. So you've got the three players here. They're in a box. We'll show you the rest of the box in a second. I will be live streaming in a little bit. We're going to be doing a deep dive on these cards. Hopefully spinning. Hopefully playing a bit with them. I already have other versions of Forlan and Ribery. I would say that if you have previous versions of booster cards or previous yeah. legends, sometimes it's not really worth it to spin for these. And I'm going to show you why in the live stream and I'll show you in this video as well. But just a quick leveling guide. These are all from their international careers at certain moments. You've got Torres number nine there with the cheeky little flick up as well. And I do like the fact that they've got their own celebrations, their personal celebrations. Torres actually looks quite decent in game, to be honest. Um, you know, his face, his face is actually quite nice. He's got the personal celebration. I did like playing with Torres in the older Pez games, but I feel like that this card does have a couple of limitations and it's not going to be super, super meta. Ribery again as well. I've had Ribery. Um, we'll get into that in, in a second as well. That is uh, from the French squad, right? So this is in a pack that you see here with the contract and you will be able to get special players with this pack. It's the only pack today. Just a quick note as well before we get into that. Konami have announced here with the news, and they don't usually do this, but they have schedule changes here, that the schedules of the following events will be updated during the 6 of the 6 maintenance, and you can see all the campaigns. The Speedster is going to be gone, Season 6, regular match pass, value match pass is going to be changed, the eFootball League is going to be changed, and 50% off the match pass. It says the end date before was the 6 of the 6, and after is the 13th to the 6th. So I reckon that we are going to be preparing for the brand new update that's going to be coming, right? I'm actually going to hide my webcam here because we're going to be getting the player builds up uh, on the screen in just a second but this is in a box of 150 cards as usual you've got Daku there you've got Zaniola, Hoffman, Poulsen, Elanga and of course you have Ziyech there as with AU uh, there as well there's a couple of more guys here Oscar Bob is there as well to be honest with you lads there is a couple of diamonds in the rough here I definitely think Poulsen could be an interesting choice apart from his acceleration and balance but as a dummy runner he is going to be very fast if you can get that acceleration up quite decently he's got good heading finishing He's going to be kind of a unique enough card. Zayek as well there. Zayek is, is a fantastic card with 35 levels. He's got no real weakness in his game. Flip-flap, soul control. You can give him double touch and he's going to be very, very silky as an AMF. This is what the game really suits. He's kind of like these type of players with really nice um, skills all around the board. Obviously, his balance is not going to go into the 90s, but it's an okay card if you get him in the search for any of these top six, top five, right? I would probably put Hoffman in there as well. Um, you know, he's pretty decent. He's got good balance in the 70s type of in the 70s all of these stats with pep or alonso can go into the 90s right but we are going to focus on uh fernando torres ribery and diego forlan i'm not going to keep this as a long video because we will be live streaming later we'll go through in a lot more depth but just a quick leveling guide for you guys to show you um without really taking the boosters into consideration again you've got flip flap soul control and double touch on uh, count dooku here uh from star wars and I, I genuinely think this guy could be the pick of the pack, lads. It's insane. We'll show you his build in a second with Pep or Alonso. You're going to be getting plus three to most stats that are over 85. So they are really, really nice cards, right? But we are going to start, I think, with Count Dooku here and just show you very, very quickly his build, right? So this is what we've gone for here. 8 into shooting, 12 into dribbling, 8 into dex, and 6 into lower body. That is going to give you a very, very dominant kind of run and gun style left winger. That's going to have 80 plus finishing. And of course, you're going to have 90 plus and maxing out dribbling and acceleration and balance pretty much going to be 95, 96 as well. Very, very nice card. Any card that gets you 90 plus possession, acceleration, and balance is going to be phenomenal. Especially if you get the dribbling and ball control and the, the speed up over 90 as well. It's going to be a very decent card. We also have probably the pick of him here, Zaniolo. This guy plays for Aston Villa. He's had a great season, and now he turns his attention to the European uh, competition, the Euros 2024, which is kicking off next week. That's going to be fun, or the 14th is the first match. He is playing with the Italian squad, obviously. Very good player as well. Again, you've got that tight possession. You've got that balance at a fairly decent clip, and he's got some nice player skills as well. Uh, you can kind of mess around with the finishing. If you don't shoot a lot with this attacking midfielder, you can kind of mess around with the finishing and give him two more dribbling. That's going to bring it up a little bit more to get you the 90 type possession or of course you could even go a little bit more decks if you wanted to do that um depending on kind of you know how you want to train him up or whatever you can do that so there is a couple of weaknesses with these cards now but obviously the big one is going to be torres ribri and forland these are the builds we've gone for so with torres his finishing is going to be really really nice at the moment straight off the rip if you see here um because torres is obviously going to be a player that is going to have that booster with 82 being his rating straight off the rip like 
like straight away you know that you're going to have a double touch you're going to have soul control all you need is flip flap and you're going to have this fernando torres with ball roll which is going to be nice he also has track back first time shot outside curler heading cut behind and turn scotch move very nice card lads very very nice card is there a bit of a weakness with him? Yes, and that weakness is his tight possession. If you are used to run and gunning goal poachers, if you're used to run and gunning with your centre forward, Saviola, Michael Owen, uh, David Villa, you know, even Romario, those type of guys, right? There is a bit of a step down when you're playing with a taller kind of goal poacher such as Torres. Torres is more in the in the category of kind of the Cristiano Ronaldo, kind of all-rounder without having that super high tight possession. And even though his booster goes to ball control, you can see here that even if we pop 10 into dexterity and 12 into dribbling with 5 into shooting and 8 into lower body, yes, we're going to get 90 plus finishing. Yes, we're going to get speed and acceleration and balance all into the 90 zone and, ball, and dribbling and ball control and offensive awareness, but the tight possession is going to be the limiter. And what Konami have started to do now is they've let it be that like one stat or else one or two player skills are lacking that you need to either, you know, adapt to that with the card and use it or else you need to train the card and have a different style of card going. Um, I think that was evidence with the Kaka trailer last week when Kaka had ball roll in the trailer, but he didn't have it off the rip in here. So that is the build there for Fernando Torres. Let me know what you think of that uh, card. We also will take a look at Ribery and Forlan. I think we'll do Forlan next. Forlan is obviously going to be a very interesting player. I will show you my version of Forlan later on in the live stream, and I think there is probably no real point in me spinning for Forlan, but he does have some nice player skills. Forlan's best attribute, lads, is 100% his movement off the ball. He makes unbelievable runs. If you've played with Dennis Law or you've played with uh, Diego Forlan or any of those cars before, um, you know, the, the movement that they make is slightly different to run and gun. You know, because they're, he's a deep line forward, he's going to come in front of the defender rather than making runs behind him and getting stuck behind. So it does actually work out if you are struggling with long ball counter or you're struggling with a bit with the gameplay at the moment. Forlan will always give you an option. This is the build that we've gone for here. It's a nice card. I mean, I do like Diego Forlan's card. I definitely haven't played him enough. Um, but that is the build I would go with there. Six into shooting, 10 into dribbling, 12 into dexterity, and seven into lower body. And then you get your manager boost, you get your booster boost, you get all of that. Um, and we, we can kind of see where that card is going to be. You know, 88 balance, 89 acceleration, 89 tight possession, 90 plus finishing and place kicking and ball control. Dribbling is the limiter there. So dribbling is not going to go to 90. But I definitely think Forlan is going to be the pick of the pack. And then last but not least, we have Frank Ribery. Now, I do have Ribery uh, already, a previous version of Ribery that was a booster that is phenomenal, right? He was one of my best players for a long time. I think they kind of nerfed him. He wasn't really that good. Um, and I didn't really start playing him that often. But that is the build, 9, 4, 7, 11, 7. And we've obviously got a lot of the stats into either the 90 zone. There's no real weakness with Ribery here. Now, the one thing I would say about Ribery is... He's got 84 finishing with this build. If you do not shoot with Ribri, lads, you can reduce that down. I would even say to about 78 there with the finishing. And, you know, that's only putting three into shooting. And that also opens up the fact that, yes, you can have, you know, 83, 84 passing um, if you want to go that route. But it also means that you can kind of just max out his, his, uh, his balance and his dexterity by three more which is going to bring this guy up way past the acceleration, way past 98. His balance is going to be way better. And of course, you'll have the offensive awareness that will just about reach 80, which will make a difference if you're playing him out wide. But yeah, I mean, definitely if you don't shoot a lot, you could do that. You know, you could definitely do that. And to be honest with you, I do like the fact that he's got a lot of nice skills off the rip. Very, very nice skills off the rip. Double touch, flip, flap, soul control, ball roll straight off the rip. You don't need to worry about that. Super sub, one touch pass, true pass and outside curler, fighting spirit. It's a really, really nice card. Honestly, this is a really, really nice card. 23-year-old Ribery. So let me know what you guys think of this pack. Let me know if we should spin or skip. I do have, as I said, Forlan and Ribery, previous versions, previous boosters, but we don't have Torres, right? Let me know what you guys think about this pack. Is it a skip or is it a spin? And I will see you guys in the live stream in a couple of hours, right? Until then, don't forget to smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel. I'll talk to you in a bit. Peace.